Hi, it's Tamara Blossom here, and let's do some self-care, self-love for women. So sit comfortably, breathe. Let's begin by lifting the shoulders and let them fall. Ha, <sighs> with the ha breath. Ha. Ha. And just shake out your bones a little bit. Breathe, settle into your body. Breathe into your whole spine. Sense your sitting bones on the floor. Centering yourself. Pull your awareness inwards. Coming into some time with yourself. Just being. Hmm. And let's start to move our spine a little bit. So feeling the wave starts as you push your heart forward and then let it slide back. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can imagine it's your heart pushing forward and pushing back and just creating a straight line from the back. Or you can feel a little bit more of the wave coming from below, coming from your hips, opening your heart to your head, and then pushing your heart back. And just let it be easy and let it feel good. So if it's small, that's good. If it's big, that's good. Wherever you're at. You can use your hands touching the floor or just keep your hands on your body. So really feeling, see I'm going into a little bit bigger wave now. And then you can also open up your legs and get a little bit of a different stretch adding into those hips. So you can stay seated and, and cross-legged or maybe you're sitting on a chair, so whatever it is. And then let's take a nice stretch backwards. So be comfortable. Open the front of your body. Really open up. Ah, uh, Let the neck open. Uh, and slowly coming back to your center. And balancing that out with a forward stretch. So bringing your spine forward. And again, being comfortable. See, I'm going to change my legs again. More comfortable being cross-legged for me. And just let it hang. Breathe. Enjoy the slowness of the postures. And slowly coming back to your center. Check out your neck. See how that's feeling. <sighs> Seeking what feels good in each moment. Mm. Scan your body. Maybe it's a different part of your body that you want to be moving right now. So just check it out. I'm doing some neck rolls. Some shoulder rolls. Hmm. And then let's do a side stretch, opening the side of your body. Again, being comfortable. You could even just reach your arms straight up to the sky, and that's perfectly fine. And coming back to center, let's do the other arm. Reach the other arm straight up to the sky, or bend it over. And enjoy that stretch. <clears throat> Have a drink of water. Let's do some chest circles, so starting to move from your heart around an imaginary pole, around the core of your body, into one direction, so just moving, leading with your heart. Again, this can be small or big, any size is good, whatever feels right for you. <sighs> Enjoy the movement. My eyes are closed most of this practice to be more inwards, but also the sun was really bright, so it felt good just to close my eyes. So whatever feels right for you. And then let's shift direction, heart along the other horizontal circle, the other direction. Enjoying that. 
Shake the legs out, whether you're sitting or even if you're sitting on a chair, you can still shake those knees out and then tapping my toes together, opening up different acupressure points. And then let's open up the ankles, move your feet around one direction and then the other. I'm going to have a seat again. And go into some more self-love internally. So hands on the heart and sensing your heartbeat. Sensing the center of your chest. And here I am allowing the light and the joy to come in through my third eye and wash down my whole body. So imagine that with me. Bring in the blessings. Bring in all the blessings. The sun, the light, the golden love. The love that is already all around us. Just let it wash over you. Feel all the blessings that you've been given in your life. The beauty. Let it wash your whole body. Wash away all the tension. Let's do it again. Bring in the light. The third eye opens. Let it fill into your head. And then let it wash down your whole body down your yoni, out, connected with the earth. And then let's get comfortable again and we're going to go and just take a moment, connect with your lungs, your breath, feel the tops of your lungs, right underneath your collarbones. And then let's do a little self-massage. Find the point and we're gonna exhale the sound. I go any sadness out of this point. right beside the breastbone. Let go of the sound. You can see my hand is holding my kidney. Just to be more connected with the kidneys because they're kidney points. Let's let go of the sound. Great. And then we're going to go underneath the breast on the rib cage. Find your between your ribs and make the sound. Come into the heart. Take a moment right at the center of the breastbone. <sighs> it seems fitting that I was letting go of emotional sounds and I was being bothered by a little fly that kept buzzing around my face and my ear. So I was like, okay, I can stay present even with this little fly. And here I found a point that is above, if you follow the nipple upwards, just find something that feels good to touch. And I'm connecting it with the point on the cheek, and that was a stomach point, so letting go of the sound. Oh. And then let's do the other side, starting with the lung point on the pecs. The kidney point, you can hold your kidney. Nice 
and then the, the liver point, so right under the breast on the rib cage. And again, there's no right or wrong way to massage, so just finding those places on your body that, and just explore. And then the stomach point. So you can add the cheek, but you don't have to. You can add the cheek in there. And the heart. Ah. Yeah, smile to the heart. Ah. Sign. I'm going to bring earth energy up, so palms down. Pull earth energy up and around the breasts. We're going to imagine that earth energy sinking into the breasts as you spiral your hands around your breasts. Notice it's up the center and down the outside. This is an ancient massage from Taoism and it's really great for keeping circulation going in the breast. So massaging up the inside down the outside and just imagine that earth energy seeping into your skin, into your breast tissue. See the dragonfly I'm looking at? That's cool. <laughs> to see. Learn some self-love techniques. And just keep enjoying the breast massage. <sighs> Breathing. Mm. Let it settle in. Receive your own energy mixed with the earth energy. And then let's reach the palms up to the sky. Let your palms fill with the heavenly, divine light. Bring it down your core of your body and around the breast. Now this is a little bit more lighter massage, more ethereal. They say that if you have, if you want larger breasts, then bring more of the energy from the sky down. So I don't want larger breaths, so I'm doing very light touch. You can be barely touching. If you do want to fill your breasts, then you can really be massaging physically. So this is up to you. I'm just enjoying the massage of the light. Imagine the cosmic light, the light of the stars and the sun, the expansiveness, right? Seeping into your skin. Feeling, sensing, being present with your hands, your breasts, the touch. <sighs> Let it in, receive it, let the light expand in your breasts, feel it, feel your breasts now becoming light, and belly massage, so massaging the direction of your intestinal flow, down the left and up the right, just circula cir circling around. I'm using both hands, but you can easily just use one hand on top of the other and just circle. And then just going around the belly button. Just pressing in around the belly button. Just do these little wiggles. I'm just massaging different little pressure points. Don't worry about it too much. Dig in. See what you find. I'm just getting... Um, movement going, stimulation. You can grab the your waistline. Feels really good. And um, <clears throat> then I'm going to move to the back of the body. I'm going into the kidneys now. So using the, the back 
of your hand, soft fist, massaging, and then you can also just receive the energy from your palm, so self energy healing. Mm. And then ah, receiving some of that, and you can keep massaging. So just do what feels right. Maybe it's more energy, love, light, or maybe it's more massage that you need right now. So just listen to yourself and massage what feels good. <clears throat> Coming into the pelvis, I'm going to lay down so that I can access my pelvis region better. So lay down with me. Do you have a yoga mat? And just some circles on top of the womb. Mmm, delicious. Just circling. Easy. And then brushing down, straight down the womb. So how, just like when your menstruation pushes out blood. And then find your ovaries by making a little triangle. Your thumbs and the belly button and then where your pinkies land. And tap on top of your ovaries. And circle on the ovaries. And then the pubic bone. So I'm right on the bone right now. If you need a video on how to find your ovaries, um, I have a womb meditation video where I explain it better. So just massaging the pubic bone, doing little circles now. You can go up and down and you can do circles. And I'm going a little bit more into the creases of my legs, the leg crease. At this point, I'm bringing up my knees and bring one leg on top of the other so I can get into my inner thigh a bit and just grabbing it, just grabbing the muscle, relaxing the muscle from the bone. Inner thigh is really important to relax. Let's do the other leg, grab the inner thigh, massaging. And then let's bring both your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. You can wiggle side side. And then take your body out long. And then get yourself comfortable in a opening posture. Soles of the feet together. And your knees out. And just bring your elbows around your head. So both your knees both your elbows are out to the side and you're feeling opening and opening in both your shoulders and hips. <sighs> Relax the yoni, breathe all the way from the perineum up to the crown of the head and back down. Mm. Moving out of this posture, bring your legs long and bring your arms down by your side and just relaxing in Shavasana. Relaxation pose, get comfortable. And we're just going to seal all of our self-love in. Let's inhale up to the crown of the head and exhale from the crown of the head back down to your yoni. And then let it inhale from your tailbone to the crown of the head Exhale from the crown of the head to your yoni. And one more time. Up to the crown and down. Place your right palm on your belly, left palm on your heart. And just feel yourself centered and take a stretch. And when you're ready, roll into your side. Do whatever it feels right to be pre prepare to come back into this to the world that you're living in. So you can take some time. I'm moving up from Shavasana fairly quickly into sitting, but you can take your time to come back to a sitting position. And finishing with some ohms. Um,
lotus flower blossoming open. Just allowing the oming to open your heart all the way up to your crown and just let it open up to the world. Open yourself up to love, light, and joy. Thank you so much for practicing self-love with me today. I'll see you in the next video.